Hey there, hope you are doing well. In this session, we will take a look at one of the frequently asked SQL based interview questions for data analytics and data engineering profile. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's take a look at the data set that we have for this example. We have employee table where we have fields like employee ID, employee name, department ID, department name and employee salary. Now the task that we have is to find department wise minimum salary and maximum salary along with minimum and maximum salary we also need to find employees who are taking minimum and maximum salary in that department if i have to show you input table and output result it will look like this we have two departments department id 2 hr and department id 1 it in department id 2 hr maximum salary is 5000 minimum salary is 1000 and rahul is the employee who is taking maximum salary and Rishabh is the employee who is taking minimum salary in department ID 2 and same you can see as a part of result as well. Solution query and table DDL along with insert statement for your practice is provided in the description box. Please go and check it out. Now let's start building a solution for this. I will start with select statement from DBO is the schema name and TBL EMP is our table. I will give it a table alias E. I will refer to all the columns of a table. So I will write E dot star and here I will take max salary. I will first refer to salary field. I will take max salary, but I don't just want maximum salary. I want maximum salary against each employee, each row of employee table. So I will use over clause. I want to partition the data by department and I want to see the maximum salary against each row. In front of each row, I will give a column alias as max sal and same way I will get the minimum salary as well. And here we will change the function as minimum and table alias, column alias will be min sal. If we take a look at the result of this query, I need to remove this extra comma F5. Now we can see that we have table with same fields that we have part of the table employee id employee name employee department right and we have additional two columns along with existing column maximum salary and minimum salary against each row for that department if you take a look at department id 1 we have maximum salary at 6000 minimum salary as 2000 this looks good what i need to do is now just to group this data and take the employee name for that, I will create a city using semicolon with keyword city underscore C as city will be open using open bracket, close using close bracket. And within open close bracket, we will have our select statement. And the result of this select statement will be temporarily available to the next immediate select query that we write after city. Now here, we need to write select from CTE underscore C. I will give it an alias. C and I will refer to the CT fields, CT result fields using alias C, C dot department ID, C dot department name. We also need maximum salary of department, minimum salary of department. Now this looks good. We got the department ID, department name, max salary, mean salary. Now I will compare if the salary of each row, each employee is equal to max salary column or is equal to mean salary column. If salary is equal to max salary column value, then I will take the name of this employee as max salary employee. Otherwise, I will take the employee SAM as mean salary employee. That can be achieved using case statement. And here we will say case when C dot salary. I will also take C dot employee name just to save by typing efforts. When C dot employee salary is equal to C dot max salary. Then we need employee name. Case statement will end here and we will give a column alias as max sal EM. Now I don't need these two columns. I just wrote them so that I can copy them. Awesome. I will copy this same statement to get the minimum salary employee. Here instead of max, I can say mean salary. Whether employee salary is equal to mean salary then we need employee name as value for the mean salary employee. If I execute this statement, this query, I get department ID name, max salary, mean salary, 
and you can also check that if employee salary is equal to maximum salary then that employee name is coming under max salary employee column and mean salary column value will be null where employee salary matches to mean salary minimum salary column we get the employee name under minimum salary employee column and maximum salary employee column will be null in that case okay now i will write group by clause here to group the data by department id department name whatever fields that we have used in select statement uh, fields that are non not aggregated we need to include them in group by clause and if i have to order the data order by c dot department id when we group the data by department we need to get the maximum of these two columns as well so this should also be aggregated now we get the result that we were looking for i hope you understood the logic that i implemented thank you if you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos do not forget to like and share this video with your friends thank you for watching